G'day, this is Scotty Tucker. Welcome to our channel. Today I want to talk to you about biological water treatments and in particular biased in pellets. Biased in pellets are easily the favourite water treatment that I've been using over the last 10 years and the reason for that is simply they work. So with these pellets, they, they look like a chook pellet and what you do is you're throwing in the, uh, the pellets and they sink straight down to the bottom and when they get down to the bottom they start breaking down and feeding off or digesting on that organic waste. So you're essentially growing bacteria to feed off the sludge to starve out the algae and the weed. All of this bacteria is naturally found in the water system already. It's already in there. Uh, none of the species are harmful for, for us, for animals, for fish, for plants, for anything. Uh, it's, it's literally a case of you're gonna grow something in your dam. Your choices are weed, algae, or good bacteria, beneficial bacteria. So grow the bacteria because that's gonna be what degrades the, uh, the muck and keeps your pond clean and healthy. If you've got a large dam, especially an irrigation type dam or a reservoir, and you've got a, a foot valve strain or a suction point where you're drawing water in from the dam into uh, your pumping system, what can happen is when you're bringing in that water that's full of anaerobic bacteria, um, which is the kind that we don't want, that's the stuff that makes water uh, smelly, it stinks, it, uh, it's, it produces hydrogen sulphide and methane when it's trying to digest all the, all the waste. So you don't want that bacteria and you especially don't want it growing in pipes because it forms biofilms and, and starts blocking up sprinklers and, and causing you all sorts of grief. In these sorts of systems where you've got a man-made water body and you've got man-made pollutants, uh, behind you can see you've got the hill, there might also be a, a, a large range of uh, animal feces coming into the system and all of that just builds up over time and what you end up with is it starts off with, with quite a small layer but over the years it builds up into a, a thick, rich, organic uh, layer of muck or sludge and what happens is that that then starts feeding what's on top of it so your algae and your weed, they just love it. So what, what the biological treatment does, it, I sort of explain it to people, it's a similar sort of process as, uh, as that what goes on in wastewater treatment where you're using bacteria and oxygen to clean up crap. Uh, in wastewater treatment, it might be human crap. In these sorts of systems like the one behind me, it's gonna be crap like duck crap, uh, rotting vegetation, leftover fish food if you're feeding your fish, anything organic that falls down onto the bottom of a pond or your dam. But coming back to the, to the irrigation point, so what you can do is if you've got a really large water body and it's, it's a bit too expensive to treat a lot of it, what you can do is just treat in the area around where your suction point is and that will clean up all the muck down the bottom and reduce the amount of uh, likelihood or the, the issues of, of causing blockages up lining your pipes. The other types of biological products that we do uh, and that are readily available on the market are liquids and powders most commonly. And they're great products as well, but the, uh, the downside to those is if you've got a, a high flow rate going through your pond or your dam, and by that I mean you've got a, a small dam and you take pump a lot out to pump out on your golf course or your, uh, your crops or whatever it is that you're irrigating, it means that you're using these products, but then you're just pumping them out onto the, uh, onto the crop. And that's okay too, because these things are completely harmless to, as I said, any sorts of plants. They'll actually benefit uh, crops and plants because the aerobic bacteria is the same as that that's found in soil. So you'll actually improve your aerobic capacity of soil as well by pumping it out. But anyway, that's another story. Um, so the advantage with the pellets in irrigation ponds, where you're pulling water out all the time, is it doesn't matter what's going up above the, the, uh, the base of the pond in the sediment, because these pellets sink straight down to the bottom and that's where they work. So everything that's going on up above doesn't really matter. These things are digesting all the muck and the waste down the bottom, which is exactly what you want. So they're, they're by far my favourite water treatment. They're by far our most popular water treatment because they work, they're effective, and if you want to clean up algae and, and weed in a natural way and better balance out your system, give these things a go. If you want to check out more information, have a look at the description below. Subscribe to us, we'll uh, hit the alert button, we'll send you out notifications and we'll keep, keep educating you so you can make your life easier and get a really nice pond or dam that you love. Thank you.